Hey guys, so do pickup artist tactics really work? Well, yes and no. It depends on what you're actually looking for. I've heard from and met men who've gone from shy and socially awkward to becoming the life of the party and picking up girls every weekend when formerly they were getting rejected all the time. However, in doing that, eventually, they started thinking that all women were users or cheaters or drama queens because those were the kind of women they were picking up. Those were the easiest ones to get. Those were the ones that the tactics worked on. And if you're on my channel, eventually most men deep down inside, they want to find the kind of woman they can actually spend time with and look forward to spending time with when they're not having wet. And here's the thing, while they secretly, maybe even unconsciously, hope that they're wrong about women, they can't openly admit that even to themselves because that would mean they might have to do something differently or worse, that there's something wrong with them. And that's not true. But here's the good news. Most men in this situation are good men. There's nothing wrong with them, but there is something wrong with the pickup artist tactics they're using to try to get a girlfriend. Because the tactics and strategies and lines and everything else that actually do work sometimes, maybe even often if you get good at it, with short-term relationships or hookups, don't translate all that well into relationship material women, the high value women you actually want to spend time with when you're not getting down with. Doot, 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 doot. I might get flagged for that. Boop, 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 boop. Just kidding. Let's find out how Josh went from shy guy to life of the party and getting lots of action to lonely and wondering where all the good women went. I'll reveal the five reasons why pickup artist strategies did work for him for short-term relationships and hookups, and the five reasons why they didn't work for him for getting a good high-value girlfriend. And the biggest reason high-value women don't stay with pickup artists long-term and what my friend the pickup artist learned the hard way. If you're new to my channel, I help men decode modern women so they can find, attract, and keep their keeper. My videos are for you. If you know and appreciate that there is a lot that women need to do to understand and appreciate men better, but you can only do what you can do and you accept that that's where you're gonna start. Welcome. All right, let's talk about Josh. Josh had always been attracted to the idea of being the life of the party, but he was actually shy and sometimes socially awkward. So when he heard about pickup artist tactics, he was all too eager to try it for himself. After joining a pickup artist community and practicing his new skills for months, he did become more confident, more outgoing, and he learned how to charm women. He started by going out to bars and clubs and trying his hardest to come off as bold and confident. He would approach women with intriguing yet mysterious stories that always made them want a little more from him. And it worked. He got some dates. His spontaneity also helped him get some more dates. Sometimes he'd show up late or do something unexpected that got their attention, but it was all contrived. Josh made sure to flaunt his social status by always wearing expensive clothes and a nice watch and having the newest phone and driving a car he actually couldn't afford. He knew those ladies would like his affluent lifestyle. The chicks he met at the clubs would love this stuff and eat it up. At first, Josh found success in picking up women who were seduced by these tactics. And this was fun for a while, but deep down inside, he was kind of ready to find a woman who he actually wanted to spend time with outside the bedroom. But like many who've been down this path, the women who actually wanted to spend time with him more than a few nights of just yeah, 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 were actually users or cheaters or just drama queens, definitely not girlfriend material. And while Josh still wanted to find a really great girlfriend, he was starting to believe she didn't even exist. Nonetheless, he maintained a sliver of hope. It was time for him to find a high value girlfriend, but that task seemed much trickier. He actually realized that while he could get laid pretty easily by going to the clubs and bars, that wasn't really going to be a likely place to find a high value woman for a girlfriend. So he stopped shopping in those places. Instead, 
he joined some co-ed places and groups in the real world. And he started talking to women in everyday life, like at grocery stores or at coffee shops. But because he was using his tried and true pickup artist tactics, well, these women could see right through his facade and were turned off. Without the loud music, lights, and music of the clubs, his techniques actually came across as forced and insincere. He wasn't able to make a real connection with real women in the real world. Not only that, but what the club girls saw as confident, women in everyday life saw as being overly aggressive or arrogant. And they were either intimidated or turned off. And I don't blame him because he was frustrated and sometimes embarrassed, but sometimes because of that, he actually pushed boundaries and was disrespectful or rude to them, especially when they refused him or rejected him. Of course, this further reduced his chances of actually developing a true connection. And when Josh did get close enough to date a high value woman, which really only happened when he let his guard down and wasn't practicing his tactics, well, that didn't work out so well either. He'd actually think she was too good for him and his neediness and possessiveness in the relationship would eventually push her away. Because of his experiences with those throwback club girls and because of his own insecurities, well, he often feared she would cheat on him or treat him poorly first, so he acted out and sabotaged the relationship when she wasn't even thinking about it. After several failed attempts, at trying to develop a relationship with a high value woman using pickup tactics alone, Josh finally realized that using these tactics was only gonna be good for short term relationships. Pickup artist tactics alone aren't good for long term committed successful relationships. Frustrated and disheartened, Josh went back to picking up chicks at the bars and clubs and eventually became bitter for a really long time. Eventually, he found a dating coach who had a different approach. No tactics, no lines, no performance-based strategies or expensive proofs of status. More along the lines of be yourself, like yourself, develop the kind of life you really enjoy by yourself, and when you do, Key point, you'll stop acting needy because you'll stop being needy. You'll stop seeing yourself as lower value to those high value women. Then you'll develop standards and curiosity about people, not just the women you use as or see as targets. So Josh got really good at those things, figuring out who he was, not just in the eyes of others. And he actually developed a quieter, but more genuine confidence. He actually got curious about women and people in general. And because of that, he started to genuinely connect with them. He was able to go to deeper levels because he wasn't actually trying to get something from them, which is where my friend, the pickup artist had been for a while when he had a major realization. More on that in a minute. Meanwhile, Josh still went through a few relationships, but they weren't as turbulent as before. And he always learned something from them. Eventually, Josh found his high value keeper. So what 10 things can we learn from Josh's story and why high value women won't actually stay with a pickup artist forever? First, let's look at the five reasons pickup artist tactics do work. There are actually aspects of pickup artist strategy that not only benefit men, but also women. So work on including these traits in your self-development. One, boldness and confidence. Two, intrigue and mystery. Three, fun and spontaneity. Four, proof of social status in the form of having friends, not things. Five, care about your appearance without being overly vain. Mm, and then there are aspects of pickup artist tactics that are less positive. Now let's look at the five reasons pickup artist tactics don't work for finding a high value girlfriend. Work on eliminating these traits in your self-development. One, being forced or insincere, AKA fake. Two, being too aggressive and disrespecting boundaries, AKA pushy. Three, acting rude after rejection, AKA pride, ego, and ultimately insecurity. Four, being possessive or needy in a long-term relationship. And five, the opposite, acting aloof or sabotaging because you feel paranoid that all women are. So what about my friend, the pickup artist? Glad you asked. He's not only a master of 
pickup skills. But for a long time, he had a roster of several women he was dating all at the same time. Now they all knew that there were other women, so he wasn't dishonest, but none of them stuck around forever. And after a while, like many others who've been in the pickup artist community for a long time, he was actually ready for something more deep <laughs> and meaningful with one woman. The women he was dating, they often moved on before he could select them. They didn't want to share him. Key point, a high value woman isn't going to stick around forever because she doesn't want to share and she doesn't have to share. And my friend had a major realization that changed his life forever. And now he's with one amazing girl and he couldn't be happier. I share that secret and why high value women do level up when they're with pickup artists in my review video of the 33 secrets. She doesn't care about you. Watch that now to find out what some of the other things my friend discovered are. Thanks for being here. God bless.